Since 2021, there have been eight known child trafficking cases that either originated or ended in Davidson County. And in all of those cases, all the children were found and okay. The most recent was Friday when a man was accused of abducting a 13 year old girl from Dallas, Texas through a gaming account. Law enforcement found her locked in a shed. And as we're entering spring break in the summer months, more kids will be online on social media or gaming. Fox 8's Aaliyah Sims sat down with the sheriff today. She joins us live from outside the Davidson County Sheriff's Office there. Aaliyah, I understand the sheriff tells you he wants to get ahead of these crimes to prevent anyone's child from becoming a victim. Yeah, he tells me it starts with the parents. He says it's their business to be in their child's business, and children can't assume that they have any privacy with devices like phones and computers. Now, to help students in schools, the sheriff recently hired seven SROs to go in elementary schools in the county. He says they are not only there to help protect the kids, but they also form relationships and help educate them on topics like the dangers of online gaming and social media platforms. There are also different types of classes. The sheriff mentioned a tame or teenage alcohol, marijuana, and education program that's offered to seventh graders. He said it focuses on more than just drugs and alcohol. It deals with everything seventh graders are dealing with, including their social life. Detectives brings in students and talks about the warnings of social media. It's a seven session program that's broken into small groups where students can ask questions. The program is also open to parents and he would like to see more of them take advantage of that opportunity. We don't. That's and, and a lot of times that's the problem. Um, parents are not involved with their kids. We want to see the parents start getting involved. They better. But but right now, I mean, and it's not all, but a lot of parents don't get involved with their kids. They're too busy living their lives, and these kids get left behind. Something's going to pick them up. Something's going to give them attention. And as different social media platforms are introduced, the sheriff tells me that he wants to develop with them. So they are still trying to come up with more programs and improve the ones that they already have. Now ahead at five, we'll hear more from the sheriff about why he feels that deputies here have been successful in locating these children and bringing them home safely to their family. Live here in Davidson County, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 8 News.